Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your broken probe in your BL Touch or similar. Um, my printer started to uh, not be able to home because obviously you can see here there is no tip in my BL probe. So um, I'm using a, a Sunlu S9 Plus, but obviously if you have a BL Touch or anything similar to this, uh, that should be very easy and straightforward to uh, replace. You don't need to replace the whole sensor. Uh, all you need to do, you see here, there is a little bit of a hot glue on the middle. You take that little dab out and it reveals a little bit of a screw. So it's as simple as getting an Allen wrench and undoing this little screw. My wrench here. There you go. And just undo it. And the probe itself should pop out as you take the screw out. There you go. So you can remove this just like that. And then you will notice that's a lot shorter than the replacements that you hopefully bought. So this is the uh, replacement pack that I bought off Amazon. I'll leave the links in the description. And as you can see, they're much longer because obviously it's not broken. So all you need to do is to put that in the reverse order. And that is very, very easy. So you drop the, the probe in the middle. There should be no forcing, so like this, it's probably stuck somewhere. So you just need to wiggle that and make sure it goes all the way down to the end. Just keep wiggling until it pops in. And there you go. And then obviously, you just get the grip screw again and put that back in. You don't need to tighten that up all the way to the bottom. Otherwise, you will restrict the uh, motion of the probe itself. So just try to make it flush like that, and that should be good enough. And it, obviously, if you have a hot glue gun, just put a dab in there if you like. So now let's test it. You see that the tip is back here, obviously. And once the uh, probe is uh, lowered, it needs to be lower than the nozzle itself. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm just going to hit the command here. You can also do that using a interface. But hopefully, there you go. Once, once it's extended, it should be lower than the nozzle. And it will touch the bed. And be able to uh, home and probe it. Uh, you might need to adjust your Z offset after that because obviously the uh, probe might shift a, le a little bit. But it's all done and fixed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.